The Essex Serpent is a beautifully written, visceral, and immediate story about a Victorian woman, Cora Seaborn. She recently widowed from a very unhappy marriage. Free now, Cora, to explore. Cora is kind of released into the world and she gets to define for herself who she is. She has a great passion for the natural sciences and gets wind of a serpent lurking in the Essex marshes that really excites her imagination. She decides to go investigating. I've done some research. Into a mythical beast. Not mythical, real. In Old Winter, this rumor that the Essex Serpent has returned is catching like wildfire. Something's been bumping into the fishing boats. A teenage girl has gone missing. The center of that community is the local reverend, Will Ransom, and his wife, Stella. And he is doing his best to contain the anxiety of his parishioners. I told you, I kept telling you we were in danger. There is no serpent! Cora, it's something that does have a scientific explanation, and Will thinks it doesn't really exist. Cora and Will begin a intellectual and ideological debate about faith and reason. Science requires dreams, just like your theology. Faith. They have a deep mutual admiration and a growing passion for each other, which is destabilizing for both of them. It was woman that was tempted by the serpent. You let them accuse me. You said nothing. I'm their pastor. So you can't be my friend and a man of God. I can't think clearly when I'm around you. I think we make the mistake of assuming that the Victorian era was stayed and repressed. I think it's subversive in how we see our heroine, who is kind of sturdy and intrepid. She certainly looked different from the woman I met in that grand house. She is refusing to play the role of the wife, the widow. It's been fascinating trying to break stereotypes. It has a very contemporary and fresh feeling. <laughs> times of great change. Exciting times. There's a huge element of mystery and supernatural to the series, but it also has a very strong human drive behind it. So it enlivens the past with something very modern and very real. So much of the story is about love and fear. It's unruliness and formidable power. 